Celestica believes it has a responsibility to lead change and drive innovation in the area of sustainability by collaborating with our customers, our suppliers, and each other on environmental matters. We have a great opportunity to unlock innovative thinking and discover more creative ways of how we operate on a day-to-day -day basis. By challenging our employees to question and re-examine their own behaviors on a day-to-day -day basis, from things as simple as choices they make in the cafeteria, to the shipping of final products out the door, and even beyond that, we have an opportunity to drive innovation, realize cost savings, and potentially even win new business with our customers. Celestia manufactures solar panels at our facility in Toronto, Canada. Once manufactured, these panels are shipped on heavy wooden pallets to their final destination. What then happens to these pallets? Well, they're beat up, dirty, so they usually get sent to landfill. In one quarter alone, we had 4,000 of these pallets. This is the equivalent of 2,000 fully matured trees. Sending 2,000 trees to landfill and then cutting down another 2,000 trees to manufacture new pallets, not great for the environment. And our Toronto team came up with a creative way of minimizing the impact of our operations. My name is Tony McDermott. I'm the Operations Manager for the End of Life Material Management Group here in Toronto, Canada. We have an ongoing recycling sustainability program at Celestica in Toronto. We try to recycle a lot of the materials that are byproducts of our manufacturing. So our latest challenge has been the pallets that they use to ship out to the customers to install the solar panel. Once the brand new pallets come in, they're offloaded into our solar factory. And then what we would do is we stack the solar panels once they have been built onto these pallets and then shipped out to our customers in the field. From there, those solar panels are taken off, installed, and these uh, pallets would sit in the field for quite a while, and then they'd get covered in mud, and they would end up in landfill. So myself and Toronto Engineering Services, we looked at that, and we came up with a uh, piece of equipment here that can wash the pallets and reuse them on the factory floor. My team will unload the pallets at the docks, from there, we will sort them. The ones that we decide are good and can be repaired and recycled and reused are put onto our conveyor belt at our pallet renew wash and is then sent through. There's two windows, one on either side. The first guy will then wash it and then the other person will wash the other side. There's two jets, one on the top, one on the bottom, and they clean the sides of the panel. When it comes out the end, it's completely clean. It's then inspected for the corner guards to see if they need replaced. The defective ones would be sent downstream to a plastic recycler. Any boards that need to be repaired or replaced are done, and then the pallet is sent to the floor for reuse. Some of the closed loop benefits that we've gotten from this activity, the defective ones are going off to get shredded up and are reused for animal bedding. The other closed loop that I'm looking at is the water tank. The guys will reuse that water all day because it goes through a filtration. So any mud of that gets filtered out and we can reuse the water to clean the pallets. The base of our pallet wash came from our cafeteria. We actually renovated our cafeteria, took the tray and dish dispenser, and with our engineering team, we were able to build our pallet wash. We're very proud of that. It would have ended up going into landfill. Uh, we like it because it's made out of stainless steel and it doesn't rust. The cost to uh, actually build this, design it, and get it set up was relatively inexpensive for us. And in the big picture of how much we've saved the company, our cost avoidance to the site has been $140,000 just in the last three months. We're very proud of that achievement. This is a great example of a team that by re-examining what they did through the lens of sustainability, came up with a creative, innovative solution that delivered tremendous benefits to the company. If we all channeled that same innovation and creativity that this team showed, the impact that we could have on the company and the world we live in would be tremendous.